Hi and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. I'm Dan and thanks for checking out my channel. I'm going to be passing on all the tips, tricks, and accessory builds that I made for my airbrush area in my garage throughout my last past 20 years. I know how I struggled when I was a beginner, so hopefully some of my videos may make your life a little bit easier and help you move forward in your airbrushing endeavors. So if you like this content, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell so you don't miss out on future content. So with that, let's get started. Hi, in today's episode of the Airbrush Garage, I'm gonna be showing you how to keep your airbrush working in tip top shape by cleaning it after every time you airbrush. Time and time again, I see on the internet, people's airbrushes are clogged up, they're soaking them overnight, they're buying all kinds of restores. I never had to do that in 20 years. The reason being is because after every time that I'm done using my airbrush for the day, I clean it up and I'm going to show you how to do it in only three to five minutes. If you do this, you'll never have a clogged airbrush. Now I happen to have three different model airbrushes that I use. They're all made by Iwata, but they all have three different nozzles, but the method is the same. So the first thing I want to do is empty my cup. Now I got a garbage can down below with some paper towels in it. I just dumped that out. Take my paper towel, clean up any excess that's coming across the side or out of the side. Okay, so now what I use the Windex solution for is, look, I've tried all kinds of solutions. Nothing cleans better than the reducer that comes with your paint. It's not that expensive. By the time you buy your Windex and your rubbing alcohol, it's just as cheap, if not cheaper, to use this. Where this comes into play is you don't have to use as much of that as if you use this for your initial cleaning. So what I like to do is I spray my cup inside and I just get the initial cleaning out of it. I wipe out my cup as good as I can. Give it a couple sprays. Once I do that, then I'm using my reducer. I like to fill it up. I'll take my tip cap off for the moment. Pull my fingers over the nozzle. And as you can see, it's bubbling up inside. So I'm creating a backwash, okay? As you can see, the reducer went from clear to black, okay? Just by creating the backwash. Once I do that, again, I dump that out again. You just gotta be careful at this part with your needle that you don't catch your needle with, with your uh, paper towel. So at that point, you can put your cap back on if you wanna protect your needle. I've bent a couple needles that way. So once you get it pretty well cleaned out, again, give it a couple sprays. Now here's where you're gonna to wanna to break your gun down. So simply take off the back, and I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that I learned off the internet years ago, but I see very few people do it, but to me it only makes sense. Okay, so again, I'm gonna break my gun down, take my nozzle off. Now, I see most people taking their needle and pulling it out this way. There are seals in here, yes but you're dragging the paint, you risk the, dragging the paint through the gun. I always push my needle out through the face of the gun or the, the, the top of the gun, so you don't drag the paint through the gun. As you can see, I'm using black to illustrate this. You see the paint on the needle. So what I'm gonna wanna do, is wipe that needle off carefully. Huh? You could even use a little reducer if you need to, if you have any kind of, you might have some tip dry on there. So once you wipe that needle off, set that aside. What I like to do now with the paper towel is I like to take and I like to twist up the end. Now this works even if you have them small little nozzles for these other guns. This Awada HPC happens to have a larger nozzle. But what I like to do is I like to stick that thread out right up through the face of the gun or the opening of the gun, okay? Kind of blocks it. Take my, uh, my reducer, put a little in there. Like to twist that around a little bit, let the reducer fall out, give it a couple sprays, okay? So now I know that that hole's nice and clean. Then I'm gonna dry up the uh, inside of the cup with the paper towel again. Okay, even give it a blow down in there because 
if you see now, I blew out, and if you could see inside that cup, I'm not sure, some black paint came out from up here in the body. Now imagine if you took that needle and pulled it back through the gun, okay? So, just by giving a, a, you know, a couple of blows right through the, the back end of it, I take and look at all that, what I got out of that, okay? The only thing that will keep this gun from not working properly is that dried paint or when it dries, okay? So as long as you get that paint out of there, you'll be good to go every time you go to airbrush. Now, once you think that's clean, I set that aside and I do the same thing with my nozzle. Again, whether it's small or big, okay? I run a little reducer into my nozzle. Again, I take my, I take my paper towel and I'm gonna twist it up into a point. I'm just gonna run that in my nozzle a little bit. Okay, as you can see again, more black paint. <laughs> Give it a blow. So when you feel that that's clean, there's a couple brushettes out there. I don't use these much, but just letting you know that they're out there, a couple brushettes. You know, you can take that and you can run that in there a few times. Make sure that's all cleaned out. I just use the paper towel. I find it to be quicker and better. I think it does more of a better uh, thorough job. So now, here's the trick. You take your needle and you're gonna run your needle in backwards. Here's your pointed end, here's your flat end. You're gonna run your needle in backwards, okay, through the gun, and you're gonna check it. More times than not, you think it's clean. When you do this, you get some black residue. I don't know if you can see that on there, but you get some black residue. And what that does is that's helping to pull any remaining uh, remnants of paint through the gun. I usually run it through twice, wiping the needle between each time. Okay. Again, a little wipe. If I'm wiping and I don't see any paint or residue, I know I'm clean. Now, all that remains is to uh, reassemble the gun. So what I like to do is I run the needle down in to where I could see it come into my cup. Okay, I don't run it all the way out because you gotta put your nozzle on, you gotta put your end cap on, and if you have that needle sticking out, you run the risk of bending your needle. So, I leave it until I can see it into the cup. Then I reassemble my front pieces, my nozzle, my nozzle cap. Now, the other thing that is really important with nozzles, okay, especially on the very delicate nozzles where you have those really tiny nozzles that are like in these guns, you just want to snug it up, okay? It's some guns, like I used to have an old Pache, where you used to have to put beeswax around to seal these things up. These aren't like that, okay? All of the nozzles anymore are compression, from what I know, most of them are compression fitted. So they don't need that seal. So you don't need to crank down on this. Just take and give it a snug, okay? So that's good enough. Now, once you have that, you want to, you want to put your, your needle cap on, because again, you run the risk of bending your needle, trying to do it with the needle through. So once it's all together, push your needle till it stops, tighten it up, you're good to go. Now, that took me a little extra long because I was explaining what I was doing. But once you get used to it, I guarantee it only take you three minutes of your time and you'll never have to soak your gun again. So good luck and keep painting. Hi guys, thanks for coming by the Airbrush Garage. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos for all your airbrush tune-ups. And if you like content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you get future notifications. Share it out with your family and your friends. Really appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next video and keep on painting.